Eckhart Altenmüller from uh, Hannover had a lecture on practicing. What should we know about practicing to make it more successful? So the first thing is um, that we should have um, an awareness when we should stop practicing. Most of our students practice too much, at least in the music conservatories and the music uh, universities. So they should feel when they get tired, they should feel when they get unmotivated, and so they should be able to stop in the right moment. That's the first and maybe the most important one. Second one is, it's very important to have a kind of preparation for practicing. So this might be bodily in terms of warm-ups. It might be mental in terms of getting into the focus, have a nice practice room, have a nice environment. Don't practice in between other people, all these kind of things. So it's very important to have an um, optimal surrounding. And then it's also very important that you have open space for practicing time. So don't fit into 20 minutes, okay, now I have to play the Mozart Sonata. You need some time, you need openness, because practicing is like a discovery journey. You start and you never know exactly where you will arrive. So it's uh, just uh, like uh, more uh, uh, concentrating what you're doing. It's very important what you're doing and when you are in the flow, that means when you really lose the perception of time and you are very concentrating, then it's the best moment for motor learning. That's the best way to learn. What was the Bühnenpräsent you were talking in your lecture? Yes, Bühnenpräsent is a German word and it says um, being on stage and convincing people about the value of your performance. And uh, this is something which cannot be told in words. It's something people feel at once. And we need to teach this our students. I always tell my students, you know, you render a service. People are paying to listen to you. So you have to wrap your uh, presentation, your performance somehow nicely to put it into a kind of special form. And this is Bühnen present and it has to be trained. It can be trained mainly by mental attitudes. That means that you get into this inner state. I want to make our listeners happy. What about then, uh, the, if, if you do practice too long, uh, too, long too yeah. much, what is the, uh, what is the yeah. consequence then? Yeah, the point is when you practice too much, you will not only not improve anymore, you will worsen again because your body and your brain is storing even in the state of fatigue and exhaustion. It's storing the dysfunctional movement patterns and the dysfunctional thoughts. And so it's important not to deteriorate, to stop in the right moment. Well, then what about the mental practicing? That's a big, big issue. It means that we are practicing by very intense imagination of the music in our inner ear, in our inner feelings. So we do not play physically, we are just working with our mental, well, with our brain. And um, we train this our students, so what it's going you, you have to see the music, the sheet music, then you have to get an ear how it should sound, then you have to get an imagination how you move, how you feel while moving, then you have to analyze the structure of the piece, and then you can even imagine yourself playing the piece on stage. And with these five pillars, you get a very, very nice uh, and very nice progress in mental practice. Uh, then about the smaller children, teenagers and so on, uh, they are used to these days that they get a prize or whatever they are training in just a five minutes, but with uh, instruments yeah. you have to work very hard. Yeah, How to true. motivate them? Yeah, so for the children it's very important that they have a nice culture in their parents' home. That means there's a culture of um, continuity and also of self-criticism, but at the, at the same time they need rewards in long term. So what is important is that a child 
gets the impression to improve. Okay, this week I I'm be able to play more difficult pieces than I played last week. So, and this is called the sense of competence. And this is a, the cue for a progress for a child. Okay, thank you, thank you very Professor much. Altemüller. This was very interesting. Thank you so much.